everybody and uh, welcome to Twists for Sexual Health and I'm Wendy Stragar and this is my dear friend Caitlin Young mm -hmm. and we are actually on the third of the series about Twists for Sexual Health and we're getting increasingly more challenging so this is the most challenging pose that we're mm -hmm. going to teach um, and um, here's the only thing I like about this pose that sometimes I see I'm getting better I'm getting a little stronger mm -hmm. so it's a great pose to measure you know your internal strength Absolutely. you know um, and so we're gonna actually break it down into the chair pose which is the foundation of the twist and then the I don't know what we're the gonna revolve yeah <laughs> so it's revolve chair is that mm -hmm. what it's called yeah um, and so I won't be able to talk really when you're talking me through yeah. it, but she's gonna show you and she can show and talk and do it right. And she's also going to show how to do it wrong, mm -hmm. right? Because it's so easy to do this wrong. Mm -hmm. And actually, you can hurt yourself kind of a little bit if you do it wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you can. So, so yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you brought that up about, you know, what you notice in the pose. The only thing you like about it is when you can see progress of getting stronger. Mm -hmm. And I think some of the things we talked about in that first clip, that first segment of the twisting, is that this is a real opportunity to work on your relationship with challenge because it's hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and even just the first foundational piece of holding the chair, mm -hmm. you know, that's, you know, I don't think we've ever hit that pose in, in any of the stuff we've done. And that's, it's a hard pose just to hold this chair pose. It looks easy. She's going to make it look really easy. easy. Um, but, but there's real discomfort in doing it. And so how can you be your own friend and also be uncomfortable? Yeah. So let's show it. Let's show it. Okay. So we're taking it up. Important, we'll start from the feet, right? We want parallel, functional parallel. Heels are underneath the sitting bones. All ten toes are shining forward. From there, let's come into our belly and maybe even take a hand to the low belly and a hand to the low back. And we'll inhale to breathe. And exhale, navel to spine, bending the knees, sitting the hips back like you're sitting in an imaginary chair. There's a, a mini sense of buttoning the pubic bone toward the belly button. And all we're really trying to achieve there is that mula bond or that engagement of the root lock and the pelvic floor muscles. Good, so the head's in line with the spine. The knees, we wanna look down and be able to see the toes. We're rooting down through the balls and the heels of the feet, but a little more through the heels. Let's take hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra, our mudra for gratitude. Gratitude that our body can show us what's hard. Let's take another two or three breaths. <laughs> Not losing that focus, noticing any tension in the shoulders that we can mount with our awareness. Beautiful. Good, and with your next inhale, Wendy, if you want to come all the way up, and I'll take it oh. into a revolved chair. So I'm going to rotate. Happy to come all the way up. <laughs> from my heart center to the right. So this is a small twist. This is where you'll go if you're not really comfortable going much further. And also, if you're having a hard time just holding that chair, yeah. then maybe that's as far as you want to go too. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is what we don't want to do. I'll take it to the other side. So notice my body, my knees are going to twist, my hips are going to twerk, and then I'm going to rotate, and it's all kinds of wonky here. Uh -huh. Okay, so this again is what we want to do. I'll take it a little bigger this time is feet stay stable, knees stay stable, pelvis, hip bones stay shining forward. I'm going to take it a little bigger. I'm going to drop my elbow to the outside edge of my knee, thumbs to the heart, and this is a big, big twist. Uh-huh, and you know, but you have to be totally stable here or you're not actually twisting. Exactly. Yeah. So full expression, arms extend. Again, we can do gaze down toward the floor or up toward the sky. <sighs> Stay in with the breath and we're in through the nose, out through the nose. I don't know why I let a big exhale out through the mouth, probably because I've been holding for a while <laughs> and the old thighs are starting to burn. So let's, let's yeah, show this. That was impressive, <laughs> actually, how long you were there. Um, and so I'll talk you through it. And okay. we'll just talk about your okay. alignment. So nice parallel. Taking first just chair in the center, hands to heart center, navel to spine, buttoning gently of the pubic bone toward the belly button, rooting down into the heels. And we'll start by taking it to the right. So with your next exhale breath, navel to spine, heart to the right. And I'm noticing some shifting happening in your pelvis. And so when that happens, perhaps this is a great place for you to stay right here, not all the way to the elbow. And we want to keep even weight into the left and right leg, so put a little more weight down into this right heel here. Yeah, beautiful. Shoulders are soft, one more breath. 
And then inhale, you can come all the way up and out for a moment, shake it out. Yeah, and actually I'm gonna go to the pose and we're gonna, sh you can point out why I maybe shouldn't be there. Yeah. But the weird thing is, is I've been doing this mm -hmm. in yoga. So, um, so maybe I shouldn't be doing this. So, uh, <laughs> um, because if my hips are shifting, that means that I don't have enough twists to get there. Mm -hmm. Is that what that means pretty much? Well, or just kind of the faculty over what's happening in the pelvis, because often it's hard to control where, where is my hips, where are my hips and where is my pelvis in uh -huh. space. So you are getting some rotation that I think you maybe weren't aware of. Uh-huh. Okay, so, so we're going to try on the other side. Yeah, so rooting down into the feet, exhaling down. Good. In and it is different one side to the other too. Absolutely. That's important to say. Yeah, so rooting through the heels and a rotation through the heart. Good. So this actually looks really stable. And you've got it. So stay with your breath and be gentle with your But neck. except actually when I'm here, I can feel this weird stuff happening in my, in my shoulder, okay. my left shoulder. So maybe it's too far. So, you know, it's like I want to I wanna be here, mm -hmm. but, um, but if it's hurting me, then that's not a good idea. Right. Yeah. And yeah. You know, so that's like, that's the thing about discomfort and twists is that you can, act, you know, because just here... It's pretty uncomfortable, yeah. you know, but I'm not having any pain in my neck or my shoulder when I'm here. Which is but what we want. when I go here, then this weird thing happens in my left shoulder and, um, and I'm not really feeling this pain so much anymore, this discomfort of the twist, I'm like all caught up here. Mm -hmm. So, um, so, you know, this is, I think what we had this very long conversation about how to manage twists and what we want to say. And I think that there's really a lot of beauty to yoga teaching you how to, how to like create a relationship to yourself and to discomfort and challenge. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you can't breathe or you're getting caught somewhere mm -hmm. in your body, then, you know, then you're not able to learn anything in that moment. Right. You know, so then so that's kind of the basic need you need to take care of is can I breathe and am I getting any structural messages like sharpshooting pains or funky tweaking? Right. So correct those things and then find a pose where you can stay and notice what's the emotional process? What's the right? What's the relationship there? Yeah. So and, you know, just bringing it back to sexual health, you know, so many there are so many moments in your sexual relationship that are not like euphoric orgasm, you know, where you're becoming, you know, sort of naked on some other intimate level that has discomfort in it, you know, so. Or something's hard and you're working to stay with it even though you maybe want to just get out of it. Right, so, but, you know, again, the, you know, working in your body and sensing, you know, what is a real twist and, you know, what is this striving to something else can teach you in those moments, mm -hmm. okay, yeah, I this feels really bad, but I want to learn the next place so I can stay. Or this feels really bad and scary and I don't feel safe, mm -hmm. and then that's not something you want to stay in. Right, and right? that's a choice. Right. It's a choice in your practice to just come out. Yeah, yeah. right. So um, we're going to do a release twist next. And, um, and so, you know, just use this and play with this information mm -hmm. um, and, um, and you'll see yourself get strong and you'll notice where you're weak. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to like us and tell your friends about us.